Ronan Farrow is joining us now exclusively. Ronan, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is Lindsay's first detailed interview since these allegations emerged. Why is she speaking out now? Good morning, Cecilia. Always a pleasure to be here. Lindsay Boylan's claim has been so central to how this story has unfolded. Other accusers of Governor Cuomo said that she catalyzed them to come forward. Lindsay Boylan herself is still a major focus of these multiple probes that are now ongoing. But she hadn't previously talked in detail to a journalist. These claims hadn't been scrutinized. I think that this has been an emotional and trying experience for her in a whole lot of ways. She talks very openly about it being traumatic to talk about this stuff. But I think in the end, she was persuaded that journalistic scrutiny would add something of substance to the conversation. And I think that's the case. I think that there is additional evidence here that's being reported uh, that helps to provide context for what is being claimed about Governor Cuomo. We heard in Eva's piece uh, just a few minutes ago there that the allegation for the first time that she's raising this comment about the, the dog uh, in the governor's mansion, you write that she seemed that he, he seemed to pay an unusual amount of t attention to her. That's what she's saying. She says this wasn't just one incident. So was there a pattern that you found in your reporting? I think this is a pivotal part of understanding Lindsay Boylan's story. Uh, you know, she has talked in a very direct way about her experience uh, of these events. Uh, but previously, we haven't understood whether it fits into a broader context of what appears to be harassment, as you say, a pattern. And the evidence does suggest that at the very least, Lindsay Boylan authentically believed she was being harassed going back to 2016. We unearthed emails, texts, uh, both internal communications in the governor's office that talked about her looks uh, and alluded to an element level of interest from the governor and also private communications with her mother, with friends, where she seemed to be fearful of the governor. And as you say, there are some new specific allegations that she raises. But I think one of the most important things here is to understand that each of those individual incidents comes against a backdrop of what she really did perceive to be serial harassment. You also raised some very important questions about what sound sounds like there was an organized campaign to discredit Lindsay's claims uh, and, and reputation, frankly, by aides that are very high level and close to the governor. What did they do? I think this is one of the most significant revelations here. This matches more emerging data in multiple stories that shows a pattern of the governor weaponizing any available information through his aides and through intermediaries in New York politics, uh, and then getting those claims into the press. In Lindsey Boylan's case, her personnel files had various unflattering claims about her. Uh, we addressed those head on in this story. There were charges that she bullied colleagues, uh, charges that there may have been a racial dimension to that. Um, she acknowledges uh, that there was a period of confrontational encounters in that office. A lot of people in that office said that that was born of a broader culture in which there was a lot of bullying flying back and forth. There's a thorough analysis of that. But we also go inside the room in this reporting when Cuomo aides were planning how exactly to discredit Lindsay Boylan, starting from the moment that she tweeted and ending up with that very day, multiple stories appealing, appearing that covered not just her allegations, Cecilia, but also in a very prominent way, these claims that she had allegations of her own in this office. So it really tilted the story early on. And we report multiple incidents that suggest there was a pattern of that kind of planting of stories in the press, uh, as well as a, a lot of questionable behavior with reporters. You know, we talk about him directly bullying reporters too. As always, Ronan Farrow, we appreciate your reporting so much. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.